Lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all happy and healthy. Today I am going to be still talking about the planner section series and it is going to be about lists this time. All right, if that interests you and you would like to see it, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, so let's get straight into it. This video will possibly be the quickest one, I feel, but we'll see, I might ramble on. So let's get straight into the list section. And this section is pretty straightforward. So this is an area where I will probably in a sense, brain dump a bunch of ideas. A lot of the time I do like to put it on sticky notes just so I don't waste paper kind of thing. But in my list section, I've actually kept a few things that I feel, you know, I should kind of keep track of. So as you can see on the first page here, I have a list for literally books. I never thought I would actually write a list for books, but these books are really something I'm into. Um, and what I've been reading, look, a lot of these books I have, I will reread them. That's how much I actually do love them, especially the stuff about minimalism and, you know, keeping things tidy. These two books here I've reread. Um, I'm rereading this one here. As you can see, I haven't ticked it off yet, but when I do, I'll tick it off. Knowing my luck, I will reread those again. Um, I'm reading some of these books. I know it, a lot of people out there are going to be like, oh my God, you're into that stuff. That's so weird. But to me, I love anything that's kind of witchy and, you know, about that, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm very intrigued with it. So I'll just read it. Not only that, I love collecting crystals, you know, all that kind of stuff. It gets me so, so excited. So not only does planning make me very excited, that stuff makes me excited. I love crystals. Um, so yeah, so I have a list about books that I like to read. And um, as I said, I will reread them. Then on the next page, I have the um, list for videos like uh, movies or say TV shows that we want to watch again. Cause sometimes me and hubby will sit there and go, Oh, you know what we should watch again? And we'll say the video and then I'll go and write it down. And uh, I mean, when I do remember it, of course, as you can see, there isn't a long list. I've, we've been suggesting it and I haven't been writing it down. There is so much that we want to rewatch. Uh, when it comes to movies and TV shows. As of right now, we we have finished all those and now we're on to The Big Bang Theory and Supernatural. Although we feel like we have to replace Supernatural because of how old the discs are. Not only that, we let people borrow them and they didn't exactly look after them, which they scratched the discs on us. So now we have to go and buy them again um, just to replace it, especially Supernatural because Oh, it's our favorite one. We will watch that over and over and over again, and we love it so much. Anyway, I'll get off that. <laughs> so I will basically write a list of all the movies, things that, um, you know, TV shows that we want to re-watch and what we really, really want to get into again. And it just helps us keep track of what we're watching, because sometimes, not so much my husband, but myself, I actually get really bored easily and I can't sit and watch one thing. I have to watch like multiple different things. <laughs> Otherwise I just can't, I can't sit still enough to be honest. Actually, I just remembered, I want to quickly write down, uh, what's it called? Um, me and hubby are watching this movie, uh, TV, sorry. He'll get upset if I say it's a movie. <laughs> um, Attack on Titan. You're going to be like, what the hell is that? Uh, so this is actually a TV show. It's an anime. Yes, me and hubby are into anime kind of things. Hello, we're gamers. Uh, but he said that it's a really, really good show. And I have to admit, he's kind of got me hooked on it, onto it. And I don't know, I, I was a bit iffy and I'm still a little iffy. But then there's parts in it where I'm watching and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> so anyway, that's just another TV show we're watching. Uh, and then, okay, I'm going to move on from that, but you get the gist of it. That, that is for TV shows, movies, that's my list. Uh, next, I decided to actually do a list for places we like to eat. Now, when we were originally in Sydney, we had, you know, the places that were from Sydney. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of those places here in Townsville, so... Now I'm just, you know, trying to find places that we like. And so far we are absolutely in love with grilled, masala. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, my throat was kind of, you know, 
fuzzy in it. <laughs> uh, Win noodles, Taco Bell. Oh my god, I've never tried Taco Bells in all my life. And when we moved here and we tried it, I'm now addicted to it. <laughs> Not to mention grilled. I'm so obsessed with those two places. Anyway, so that's um. This is where I just list a few places we like to go. Either we go and sit out and eat and dine in, but with the whole thing of COVID at the moment, it's just not not a thing. Um, but, you know, uh, either that or we get takeout from that place and just bring it home and eat it at home. Uh, next, this is a, another area where I write down a bunch of notes. As you can tell, I've got this, actually. I'll show you real quick. So this I put on sticky note because, first of all, I'm so sick of wasting paper because that's what's happening. I will write it down and then I'll bin it immediately. And I don't like that. So I've decided to chuck it on this note to self sticky note from May Paper Co. Um, as always, I tell you in every single video, the links will be down below. I have a discount code with May Paper Co. Check them out. They're amazing. Um, but yeah, so I put on the title area, uh, birthday, obviously I'll write down the date, but I know my daughter's birthday, so I don't really need to, I mean, if you want to do that, you can, but, um, I'll write down either my daughter or my son's name and then I'll, I will list the things that they are asking for, for their birthday. Also, you know, Christmas. Um, but I feel like this one is, I put this one on the paper Mainly because, uh, you know, over time I will just write and add to the list. I mean, I probably will actually stick with sticky notes. So that way I'm not wasting so much paper. Um, but in this case, I decided to put, you know, my son and then my daughter. And it's on the one page. It's about Christmas. We are thinking about doing a CD player and CD. Do you remember back in the day where your mum and dad would get you a CD player and you'd crank your music up and you'd just have so much fun dancing? Well, that's what I did anyway. Um, but I, I I feel like, you know, the kids, because they have their own little... They're growing up. They're, <laughs> they're getting so big. Um, but they're growing up and they, they're getting into, you know, their kind of music and, um, you know, Bluetooth is great and all, but it's so annoying where it just... It doesn't... You know, the, it goes flat, especially when it's not plugged in or anything. And then you have to wait for it to charge. So I thought, why not let's... You know, let's just get them a CD player with a CD, like have their little cool collection of CDs. I mean, we don't have to grow, get a heat, but... I just thought it would be really cool. And then, of course, I'm going to add a few whatever else they're going to ask for. But that's what I do. I usually ask the kids, hey, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? They tell me or they write it down on a piece of paper, give it to me, and then I add it into here. So that way I can secretly hide it from them And because our kids, they just forget. Um, and then it gives us an idea to surprise them because they asked for it and, yeah, Obviously, I update it. I double check with them again, but um, you know, you know how children work. They always change their mind. They're always into something new every second. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and then of course on this page, I've just got a bunch of notes. This was when we were literally just moved to Townsville. Uh, haven't gotten rid of it only because you know I have this on this section here. Honestly, don't even know why I didn't put it over there. But anyway, here we are. Uh, but yeah, so this was just a list of things that we had to get done um, when we moved here and all that kind of stuff. But as you can tell, this is what I normally do in my list section. It's basically a brain dump area. It's also a thing to keep track of stuff that we're doing, you know, whether it be Christmas, birthdays books, <laughs> movies, places to eat. There is a few more things that I do want to add, but I can't remember at the moment. Um, I, I wrote them down somewhere, I hope. <laughs> Let's hope I did. All right, it's, I'll figure it out later, but I know that there was a couple more things that I wanted to add for lists, but you can do so much with lists, and that's what I love about them. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is what I basically do when it comes to my list section. And let me know in the comments below of whether you do something similar like this. And uh, can you list something that maybe I haven't got already and maybe I should probably add to my plan? I'd love to know, love to see. Send me pictures if you want to. But yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your day in watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye.